Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawana and today we're going to be doing part two of my fall decorate series. I'm going to be doing both my kitchen and dining room. So we're just going to jump right into it and start with my tear tray. This is my favorite part of decorating for any season because I can be the most creative and just pretty much just put things on the tray and see how I like it. So I'm starting here with um, what I normally start with is what you guys can't see which is just Spanish moss. I use that to kind of hold things in place because the way I decorate is I kind of just stick things um, and with no plan I just stick it and see how I like it at the end. So I'm using the Spanish moss and it pretty much stays there year round um, just depending on what I do. So I went ahead and started with just adding some greenery to the bottom layer and then I'm just going to play around with some of the things I have and we'll see how it turns out. Oh and I just want to tell her how I feel scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. A lot of the things I used on this tray were things that I already had on hand from previous seasons. I did grab that gather sign at Hobby Lobby and I also grabbed that green candle along with a couple others from Home Goods um, because the olive greens and sage greens are the color that the colors that I'm going with this year so I grabbed those and then once I finished with it I was not quite happy with it so I went and added a few more copper elements to it off camera and so what you'll see at the end is how it turned out once I finished adding things to it have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love how you know you've been in love moving on to the floating shelves next to the bay window I leave this shelf pretty much the same year round I just switch it up with some seasonal decor so that's all I'm doing I'm pretty much putting everything back the way it has been other than adding um, a pumpkin or two here and also adding the Joanna Gaines cookbook um, it used to be on a shelf on the counter but I wanted to do something different with that shelf so I decided to just move it over to this floating shelf and everything else will remain about the same as I usually keep it I won't slow down steady on my feet I'm gonna rise no, I won't stop. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm on my way up. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way, and I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray. After I finished with the floating shelves, I was not quite happy with that space. I wanted it to have a little bit more. So I went downstairs and found this sign that says thankful that I feel like it's just perfect for this upcoming season. So I went ahead and just got that and put it right below the bottom shelf. And I really liked how that turned out. A lot of you guys had questions about how I attached the signs to the walls. A lot of people didn't think I put holes in my wall, but I am the queen of holes in the wall. Um, I have holes all over the place, so yes, I do use holes, so I did show you guys in this video that I am using a hammer and nails. I edited it out of the last video. I thought nobody wants to see that, but apparently you guys do want to see that, so I'm showing you in this video all the nails. 
For the dining room centerpiece, I'm going to be using a lot of different greenery and just placing it in different spots on this candle centerpiece that I bought from Decor Stills, a website online that I get a lot of my decor. This was a total impulse buy. I just saw it and thought it was really pretty but had no plan for it. So we're just going to get started. I bought out a lot of different stems and some things I don't even know like that one. I have no idea what that is. Others are like eucalyptus, olive branches, um, eucalyptus pigs, pine cones, pumpkins. And I'm just going to start sticking things in there and see how it turns out. So I will go ahead and link this piece down in the description. It's not always available, but you can sign up to get alerted when it does become available. I am on my way. Oh, 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 oh. I won't slow down. I am on my way. I won't slow down. I wasn't quite satisfied with it. It wasn't quite full enough for me, so I grabbed some more eucalyptus stems and cut some more off and kind of stuffed it just a little bit more until I liked it. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving. It took a while to get it like I wanted it. I had to play with it for a while, but I was really happy with how the centerpiece turned out. Now I'm going to work a little bit in the entryway, not a whole lot because that is the next video, but I just wanted to go ahead and change out the stems in this Demijohn bottle. This bottle also comes from Decor Stills and I will link it below in the description. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? I found these stems at Target, they are just like reddish brown eucalyptus stems. I thought they were really beautiful, and then I found this. Um, piece that I'm about to put on the wall. I found it at Home Goods. I haven't a clue what it is. It's like this really rusted, old looking piece. I thought it was beautiful and it went really well with the stems. So I just went ahead and grabbed that and I'm going to put that there for fall. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I've had this hanging clock here since I first decorated the kitchen probably about two years ago and I still really really love it I got it from decor stills and I still love it but I was just wanting to simplify the look right here for just a little while so I grabbed these hooks that I got also from decor stills if I remember correctly and I'm just gonna replace it with those hooks attached to the wall and then hang a really cute basket that I got from Amazon and I'll have all of that linked below
The granary that I'm hanging in the basket is the same thing that was in the hanging scale clock. Um, I just took it out of there and put it in the basket and I got that from Hobby Lobby a while ago but I'm pretty sure they still have them. The lamb's ear wreath that was already on the cabinet door is from Hobby Lobby. I've had it there for a really long time and I wanted something that's a little bit more fall so I found this magnolia wreath at Target and I just replaced it with that. I don't change the decor on this shelf that I got from Hobby Lobby as much as I changed the tiered tray but I do like to kind of keep it up with the seasons but this time I'm going to completely redo it so I took everything off of it and I'm using this cornucopia that I got from the Target dollar spot at the end of the season last year. I hadn't a clue what I was going to do with it up until probably yesterday um, but I feel I felt like this was a really good place to put it. I just stuffed it with some greenery and a few pumpkins and a pine cone and just left it at that. Super simple, super easy for anybody to do. And then I added a pumpkin. I actually went and bought a pumpkin. I said I was not going to buy any pumpkins this year, but I couldn't resist this one from Michaels. Um, and I used to have a Ray Dunn canister there that had dog treats in it. It said dog treats and it was the dog treats for Hudson but I wanted to get rid of that for this season so I got that pumpkin and I can still put his dog treats in it so it's still really functional. I also use this spot for my Alexa and I always try to find something that will hide her because she's super useful but she's not that cute. So I just hid that with the hello fall sign that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. So other than those few spots, I'm not putting a lot of decor in the kitchen because I don't have a massive amount of counter space as it is and I like to try to keep it pretty clear so that I can work. Um, I did go outside and grab some of my hydrangeas. They are turning um, for the fall so I thought they would be so cute in their fall colors to just grab them. I'm going to actually dry these out soon but I wanted to just grab them and put them in some water just for now so that they would look really cute with my fall decor. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you. Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of dwelling in Well that is it for the kitchen and the dining room I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it has inspired you in some way I can't wait to show you guys the rest I only have like one or two more areas to decorate and I'll be done for this season And I can't wait to share that with you And then I'm going to do a full fall home tour so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching leave me a comment let me know if you like what you saw and i will see you guys in the next one bye sometimes i just don't know what to do it should have been you